I know there's not much left of this level to explore. It can't be. Okay, we leveled up. Okay, this is it, actually. I'm pretty sure this time. Okay, let's see what we get for, for our level up. Reflexes, death blow, meditation. Don't like it four points though. To spend one on this, it's so now my normal arrows. My my normal arrows basically count as enchanted now, so they'll do more damage. Uh, I don't want to waste it on that. Improve my armor class. I'll save the rest, actually. Okay, that's actually it. My bad. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't off by much. I just remembered the two doors. I'd forgotten that the uh, that first one was just going to another area. Oh, seriously. Let's try our new arrows. See, now they glow. But I still can't break these with them. <laughs> oh. Get cornered. That does a lot more damage, actually. What was that? Uh, thought I just picked up like a. What did I just? I must have spin that helmet. Wow. No. Should just be that room now, and it'll be done. Well, other than the uh, last part, it's a lot of zombies. here. <laughs> it's a dead end at least. Well, not a dead end, but this leads back to that uh, first room. What was that? I'm not even like seeing what they are before I pick them up. Padded helmet. How did I just pick up like three of those? <laughs> okay, that's it actually. So now we face the uh, first boss of the game. And again, the first, what I consider to be the first actual boss. Let's break this first. Doing for potion. Got enough potions. The Orb of the Undead. The cause of all of this undead insanity. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically just gonna kite them. <laughs> yeah, so you basically let, let, get to land a bunch of hits on the orb, and then it'll rise into the air and um, raise a bunch of fun. Of uh, zombies and such. Or skeletons, I guess. But you have to do it a couple of times, so. That's why I wanted uh, to be sure about the potions. I don't have the energy. I mean, a couple of them do drop some, but I wasn't going to take the chance.
I think Molly are getting close to the uh I want to get closer to the orb because as soon as I lap as soon as I kill the last skel uh, skeleton it's gonna lower itself. Go. I'm actually doing some good damage. Yeah, the exploding arrows definitely help. The shock arrows would have helped more, but... Uh, in, in retrospect, they probably should have waited for that, but... Whatever. This still works. Oh. Actually, isn't too bad, actually. Okay, should be it. Should be able to destroy it this time. And we've done it. We've destroyed the orb of the undead. The priests of Ilmatter were revenged. Additionally. We now know what's happened to Kissin. You've done it! I feared that we were lost! Oh, Ill Matter has truly sent you to us in our darkest hour. Where did this foul orb come from? I found this map on the body of this thief. I think he entered the crypts through the sewers and placed the orb here. Someone did this horrid act on purpose? All those deaths, who would wish us such harm? I don't know, Fayed, but I intend to find out. This is grave news. I appreciate all you have done for us. Please, accept this as a small token of our temple's thanks. I will consult with our remaining priests and see if they can determine who was behind this evil act. I will send someone to you should we discover anything. Wait for a messenger at the Elf Song Tavern. We will contact you should we learn anything. Very well. I will go to the Elf Song and wait for word from you there. Okay, so we get an amulet of protection and experience. So now we have to uh, go back to the tavern. Um, well, mainly to meet the uh, the fellow that uh, Fai had just mentioned to us, but also to um, tell Asala what's happened to Kissin. Of course, the question remained. Uh, the question uh, remains as to what exactly the motive of this was, and why did they need to raise the undead with this orb? I think that's actually it for loot. So I will go back to the elf song. I can't. Oh, I can't recall from this room. So now I can recall. Okay, this is the guy Fi had talked about. But first, we're going to talk to Osala. Tell her the bad news. No trouble. I found the body of a thief in the crypts. I fear your man did not survive the power of the orb he had stolen. I knew it. In my bones. In my heart, I knew. Thank you, stranger, for setting my mind at ease. At least I know his fate. He gave me this to hold for him until we were together again. But I have no use for it now. Here. You have it. Keep it. And hopefully it will serve you, and keep you from his fate. Thank you. You have my sympathies for your loss. Farewell. Ring of protection, okay. Uh, let's see if... I'm not sure if we can equip all of them at once. Yeah, so two rings and an amulet, I was right. So now we have actually pretty decent protection uh, from that.
didn't get any armor really. So I'll sell this stuff really quickly. I heard about what you did at the temple. It's good to see my weapons and armor being put to good use. I'll sell that. My weapons should prove useful if you run across any more of the walking dead. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, so I guess I'll talk to this guy. This is Jarek. Well met, adventurer. Ethan has told me of how you rescued him in the sewers, and I have already heard of your bravery in the Shrine of Suffering. I decided that I would see this hero for myself. I am not disappointed. I hope you shall not disappoint me. What do you mean? Your actions in the temple showed great courage and sacrifice. A willingness to risk your life to protect others, an admirable quality. Ethan and I are members of the Harpers, a group whose members have dedicated their lives to the safety of the realms and its people. I invite you to join us. We seek men and women of courage to band with us to protect the realms when the realms cannot protect itself. As a Harper, you will have our support. We will do what we can to help you and the realms. We are in need of your help against a grave threat to Baldur's Gate. What say you? I would be honored, Jarek. Excellent. There's no time to waste. We need you to perform a task for us. Very well. What is this task? The orb you encountered in the temple was placed there for a reason. It was intended to sow chaos, to distract the city watch in order to allow another group to operate freely. What group? The dead man you found in the room with the orb was a thief. He was a member of a thieves' guild, a new guild that has appeared in Baldur's Gate. This guild follows the symbol of a bloody eye, and they left their mark on the bodies of two city watchmen murdered several days ago. This guild has declared war on the existing Baldur's Gate thieves' guild. In the past few days, many of the old guild's members have vanished. Dead, most likely. Did you want me to stop this guild? That may be asking too much. Of greatest concern to us is the rumor of powerful magic backing this guild. Perhaps a mage, or several mages. The power of the orb in the Shrine of Suffering is proof of this. Whatever the source of this new guild's strength, we would like you to infiltrate the guild and find out who, or what, is behind it. Very well, Jarek. I'll see what I can uncover. Another agent of ours tracked one of the thieves to a secret guild entrance below the city. It's a secret door on the first level of the sewers in the northeast section. We have no idea how to open the door, however. It bears a special enchantment that is proof against most magics. I found this strange key on the th dead thief's body. Could it open the door? Let me see it. Ah, yes, a curious item. It seems to bear a minor enchantment that dispels shadows, but the enchantment in the key is dormant. Perhaps its close proximity to the orb disrupted the enchantment. I may be able to awaken it. Ah, there we are. It should function as intended now. Simply bring it close to the secret door in the sewers, and the key will reveal the door and allow you to open it. Very well. Please be careful. These thieves have already killed some of the City Watch. They will not hesitate to kill you if you're discovered. I'll be careful, Jarek. Farewell. Okay, so that was Jarek, a member of the Harpers. Uh, I'm not sure if Aelith says anything new. Welcome back. Something I can get for you? That's it. Uh, see you, buddy, Thon. How goes your mission against the Thieves Guild? I'm still working on it. I'll let you know when I've found the guild leader. Okay, so... Still not sure what his deal was. Yeah. Oh, here's another new character. Uh... Kaira? I can't do that here. Oh. I wouldn't spend too much time with me, stranger. Best move on. Unless my misfortune attach itself to you. What do you mean? Surely you've heard of the thieves plaguing Baldur's Gate? Well... One of them waylaid the merchant caravan I was guarding while we were less than a league from Baldur's Gate. What happened? 
they came upon us in the night, slaughtered several guards, and made off with most of the caravan's goods, including a box of rare spices from Am. I was hoping that I could track down the thieves and set the matter right by at least recovering the box of spices. But since coming to the city, I've had no luck tracking down their guilt. I seek these thieves just as you do. If I come across your box of spices in my travels, I'll let you know. You're kind, stranger, but I fear that you'll have as little luck as I've had. Carry my best wishes with you in any event. Farewell, then. Okay, so another optional side quest. Uh, I think I'll actually leave it here. Uh, we made a lot of progress, actually. So uh, we've turned in the, uh, the the amulet that Ipswich wanted. We have discovered the fate of Kissin. Uh, and we've met uh, Jarek, who is the member of the Harpers. And we've just joined their order, apparently. So, um, so we've discovered that, that the key that we found off of on the uh, on the dead thief actually opens the door to the um, thieves' hideout, or their stronghold. But that'll have to wait till next time. So um, I'll save it now. I can't do that oh, here. My bad. Over right. Okay, so that's it. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Uh, there's more to come. Thank you for listening. If you listened, uh, I'll be back. This has been Edwardovich, signing off.